Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the June regular BAM box, or as they call it, the OG, the original. Uh, actually, I think they're going to start calling it something else. Adam um, MacArthur, the owner and CEO of the company, was saying that they were going to start calling it something else. I think pop culture, maybe, something to that effect. But for now, it's the OG original, and it's for August. was a little bit late, a little bit late, not too bad, though. Um, cause apparently the prop, which I think there might only be one prop replica in this, which is okay with me just because I'm not huge on the prop replicas. Um, it was a little bit delayed because it said something about it had to dry. So I'm assuming there's some paint, uh, going on. Yeah. So anyway, I'm just looking like, do I look a little shiny on here? Do I need to turn the light down? No, there. That's better. Anyway, sorry. All right, so here we go. Tissue paper. One for the cat, two for the cat. Just two this time. The horror one for August had three. I don't know why I did, but three, had three. Anyway, all right, so, okay. Oh, feeling what this prop replica is. I think I remember what one of the properties was now. Okay, I'm excited. Ooh, that. That looks good, man. I'm going to take it out of the... Okay, so this is from Never Ending Story. Uh, if people don't know that, it's pretty awesome. Um, kind of more of like a kid's thing. Let me hold it like this. I don't want there to be too much light. Yeah, so Never Ending Story. Um, not colored on this side all the way through, but colored on the front. So I'm guessing that like the gold on here kind of is what was taking so much time. But yeah, like legit, like a, my head's kind of big. Oh, I made it. That looks good. Looks good. Not gonna keep wearing it for this though. But I also might not be able to get it off. Oh, I did, okay. <laughs> there we go. I thought I was gonna have to cut that off myself. That would have been bad. Anyway, that's cool. That's a good prop replica. It looks very much, actually, did I get it? I don't think I got it close enough. It looks like you can see like the the snake head. Here, let me do that. Make it a little bit. Ugh. Jeez, that makes it a little tough. Yeah, so you can see like the snake heads and everything. It looks good. It looks really good, and it's metal. It's kind of heavy. Next, the pin. Usually my favorite things. Um, this is designed by Oscar Van. And the name of it's something I don't. Oh, okay. So this is, whoa, I'm just like fumbling like crazy today. So this is for The Flash. Uh, kind of have had interest in getting into The Flash. I haven't seen any Flash at the moment, but I hear really good things from a lot of people, uh, including people I trust with that type of stuff. But this is a pretty basic pin. Um, anyone who's big in The Flash will probably enjoy this. I mean, it looks good, but it's nothing like super intricate. It's just The Flash emblem, so that's fine. Uh, next item is the piece of art, and it is done by Andrew Heath. Oh, this is cool. I like this. So, now I remember, one of the properties in it was just Nintendo. Just Nintendo. And so, this is just a mashup of Nintendo stuff. Well, let me try it like this so you can see it. So, we have Samus, uh, Link, Donkey Kong, Mario... Yoshi, um, Kirby, Star Fox, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Falcon, I want to say, uh, Luigi, and Ness, I believe. Yeah, so, and they're done like, kind of like, muted colors, like a little bit like retro style. I dig it, it looks, it looks good. Uh, number 475 out of 2000, and yeah, this looks nice, I like it, I like it, I like all the like, little windows that he did on that and um if i'm not yeah i was gonna say if i'm not mistaken and i'm not mistaken uh these are all in like the smash brothers video games which a good series of games smash brothers is really cool this is nice i like this i probably will put that up i do like that and then i think that leaves me with the autograph oh my god are you serious I actually really dig this. I really, I actually really dig this. Okay, so what they've been doing is doing like surprise properties 
they were just like, it'll be like, for this one, it was like, the never-ending story, and the Flash, and Nintendo, and then a surprise one, and that's what the autograph was. Uh, I'm a fan. Uh, this is... This, Dian Bacar, or Dian Bacar, I don't know how to say it, but it's the dude who played Squeak Scolari from Basketball. Uh, never in a million years did I think that this would show up in a BAM box. I love Basketball. I love a lot of things that Trey Parker and Matt Stone do. Pretty much everything. I've actually even seen like the Book of Mormon, their uh, musical, professionally done, and it's... It's really funny. It's really good. Love South Park. Love all that stuff. Wow. <laughs> I didn't... No way did I expect this. This is a cool... That's... Yeah, that's cool. I like that quite a bit. Really good. This is a good box. This is a good box. And that's that's big for me because I'm more of the horror. So, like, I get real excited when the horror box comes. And when the original box comes, I'm not nearly as excited. Because I'm just like, oh, it's not horror... But when they can get me like this, that's pretty awesome. So, um, obviously, here we have the uh, replica. And, yeah, from Never Ending Story. Uh, by Dark Matter Props is who makes it. They do a really good job. The autograph, there were a few different things you could have gotten. There were two different versions of picture, which I think the other one looked better. I would have preferred that one. But they're both good. And then you could have gotten, like, a replica Lazy Boy basketball ball and, like, a little pennant is what it looks like for the beers. Milwaukee Beers was the name of the team. Uh, then there was a variant on the fan art, which was actually just kind of yellowed, I guess, to kind of make it look a little older, maybe. It was that one, and that was out of 500. So, honestly... It doesn't really matter to me if I got that one or the regular one. And then the limited pins, um, there was a 250 and there was a 99 and very subtle differences. Well, I mean, not subtle, but like they're, I mean, they're not design differences, just kind of coloration. So this is the one I got. This is a regular emblem. This one's black with the red. And this one, I guess there's like no, no metal in there. And so it's just the red with, you know, open space, which is cool. Um, and then they were having a giveaway to win a, a Mike Tyson signed punch out autograph or picture from, uh, from punch out Mike Tyson. That's pretty cool. That's cool. I like it. Yeah. That's a good box. That that's quite a good box. I'm, I'm excited. Obviously I really like this based off my reaction. That was, that was really cool. This is fun. I might actually hang that up this is potentially the best prop replica they've been they've done for the regular box um that's really nice that's really nice um i'll put that somewhere because i do like the never ending story i was a big fan when i was young i even saw the sequel i remember being entertained by it as a kid but nowadays i'm sure it's garbage from what i remember and then the pin the pin, like, design-wise, uh, this isn't their best. This is actually one of the my least favorites that they've done, not just because of the fact that I'm not into the Flash at the moment, but mainly just because the design's so simple. But, you know, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who would really uh, enjoy that. It's well executed. It looks looks good for what it is. But anyway, that's cool. Thank you, everyone, for checking this out. Um, there are some changes that are going to be happening. I... I talked about it in my, my horror unboxing for, for Bambox, but I guess I should just kind of throw it out here real quick. That they're actually going to start doing more, like, random drops of things, like things that aren't even related to whatever's going on in the box. Like, they're going to throw out just random autographs from bigger names into certain boxes. They're going to also start throwing out some, what they're calling golden tickets, which are basically uh, vouchers to get, like, a free month's box. And I believe they're doing that for horror and they're doing that for the original. And then some of them will actually be golden tickets for the expansion packs. And the expansion packs are freaking expensive. Like, I'm talking some of them are over $100. I would think they probably wouldn't allow that one uh, to be used for the uh, for the ones over like 100 bucks. But some of those are like $70, $80, $90, stuff like that. So that's the big value stuff. I think it's cool that they're doing stuff like that kind of you know, getting it crazy, getting it more exciting, and uh, I like where they're going with that. 
So anyway, everyone, thanks for checking this out. And please, like I say all the time, just hit the subscribe for me, please. If you want to know as soon as my videos are going up, you can hit a little notification bell and it'll let you know. But it takes you like no time, like no time at all. And you don't even need to check out my videos after that. I mean, I would like if you did, but you don't really have to. So um, if you could just take that like one second to just click that thing. Um, also leave some comments so we can talk about nerdy stuff like this. Do other people out there really like basketball like me? I really like this movie, and I'm excited about this. So let me know in the comments, and then give me thumbs up, give me thumbs down, however you feel about this. And thank you. So until next time, keep it brutal.